what's your perspective of the or message to people who are going through the similar process who've had these life changing events in their life what will be your message to them anish i mean see it is quite difficult and if i will say right now anything to anyone they might get uh, depressed or they might be not agree with me so for example one of my um, paraplegic friend uh, he is having a lot of money obviously and just like that he came to meet me during my training session and, uh, and then he was asking me like shams i am doing this i am trying to do stem cell therapy or uh, other kind of things uh, what do you do i mean what do you think is it going to be beneficial or uh, i am going to be like this Mm-hmm. I said, see, you can definitely go for the stem cell therapy or X Y Z if you feel. But um, as per my experience, I will suggest you to please invest all those things. You may go and buy a good wheelchair. You may go and buy a car if you have a lot of money. Uh, start your own business. Don't uh, uh, fall behind all these things. This is not going to work in practical life. okay because when we when we get into this initially i was also there in this stage and i found that i was searching I, as i mentioned like i was searching 360 ways that yep. what is the solution what is the solution but then when when i roam around the world when i went to us uk germany xyz places and i found that the millions of people on wheelchair and there is no cure for this particular uh, disease so stop wasting your time yaar start doing something productive but what happen when you give, give this kind of advice at a very early stage they might feel sometime offended i i remember maine ek ladke ko i mean mujhe bola usne ke shams bhai uh, one of my friend uh, adil ansari is there he is a uh, Uh, neck down paralysis person and he's one of wow. the uh, inspiration for me inspiration for me he is from mumbai so the same person called him and he asked aur unhone bola ki yaar tu life long abhi tu matlab aise hi rehne wala hai straight away because he is a straight forward guy he said aap wheelchair pe hi rehne wale ho he got offended he asked me like shams bhai unhone to aise bola bola yaar usne jo bola hai wo sahi hai ये और बात है कि उसको समझने के लिए तुझे टाइम लगेगा सो आई मीन दो पीपल आई आई मेट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आई मीन आई वॉज ट्रेवलिंग इन ट्रेन आई मेट अ गाय ही वॉज रिच एंड ही वॉज सो शॉक टू सी मी अलोन इन द ट्रेन ट्रेवलिंग हाउ कैन यू ट्रेवल अलोन हु इज अलॉन्ग विथ यू एक्स वाई जेड अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड देन आई सेट please come to the point and what happened please tell me then he said like i i have a brother he is having this kind of issue since last 13 years we have spent around 98 lakh rupees on him but still he is not getting recovered and uh, my mom dad still you know they are in a uh, dilemma that he will be all right and all those things i said please buy him a good wheelchair invest next amount for his uh, Uh, any business or anything he wants to do take him out since last 13 years he has not been out from his house can you wow. imagine and just because of this love and the pamperedness uh, you see i can understand whether it's me you or any other mom they all feel that my son will get all right yes everything everything and it's it's perfectly fine i am not denying all those things but be a little practical if someone is having the experience utilize it so i told him all those things and then they said okay uh, i mean like we will not run they are still running behind like some baba or some sant uh, maybe some ayurvedic or xyz of kind of things still okay. they are doing of all those bullshit yaar you have already spent 98 lakh rupees you are telling me Okay. please give me at least 10 lakh rupees i will do something here <laughs> yeah 
and then they have changed so these kind of things happen i mean uh, uh i mean uh, i organized one camp in chandigarh spanner okay. rehab center uh, swimming camp around 40 people came there on wheelchair and then they get to know there was two lady um, they are all around 50 plus i think okay they posted on their facebook that shams thank you so much because of you and this camp i got a chance to enter into the swimming pool after 17 long years wow see there are a lot of thing i don't know the government what they will do or what the state association will do but as an athlete it is my responsibility to engage my people with uh, people with disabilities to empower my community so that's why we all are doing this and we are just trying to you know those kind of people who who in uh, who are in the house for long long time they are not getting a chance to go out please come let's join us let's play and see the power of sports i hope you enjoyed this clip from my podcast series called masters decoded the intention of bringing these clips to you is to allow you to understand some key moments of the conversations i've had with my guest i would recommend and highly encourage you to listen to the entire podcast which you can find the link to the podcast in the description below i look forward to you subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified of all the future clips which we keep releasing every week on this channel <music>